A constant process of strengthening of Indo-Nepal ties touched another feat as Kathmandu hosted the third edition of Connect in International Entrepreneurship Conclave recently. The key objective of the summit was to promote youth entrepreneurship along with sharing experiences of startups between India and Nepal to further bolster Indo-Nepal business ties that have remained intact for years. Speaking on the occasion, Minister of Communication and Information Gyanendra Bahadur Karki said that the government of Nepal had adopted the policy to promote entrepreneurship and startups. The government had taken the investment-friendly policy to keep the economy afloat. Karki claimed that the integrated public service delivery put in place had helped the entrepreneurs to augment their business activities. The government of Nepal is open to partner with the private investors, innovators and enterprising minds in order to support entrepreneurs. The government has designed and implemented several programs for skill capacity development, financial support and entrepreneurship development. More than 300 Nepalese and Indian startups entrepreneurs, investors, experts and high-ranking officials from Nepal and India attended the event. Indian ambassador to Nepal, Vinay Mohan Quatra, said that the conclave had provided the business base for the young entrepreneurs, stating that innovation and entrepreneurship figured in the priorities of the government of India. He also expressed his confidence that the conclave would play an important role to enhancing the capacity of the young entrepreneurs and relations between the two nations. We connect in at a very fundamental level gives you that medium, gives you that platform, as Abhishek mentioned earlier on, to connect these two uh, principal drivers, which is the uh, aspiration and achievement. Drivers, you can also call them objectives, you can also call them end goals, but this is your, this is your, this is the, this is the, if there was a cell for the inner self of the entrepreneurship, it is the aspiration and the achievement which drives the entrepreneurship. And I think the connecting uh, gives you that medium to take this uh, abundant uh, and positive aspirational energy which is embedded, inherent in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a youthful society and translate it into something concrete. The day-long event was hosted in three panel discussions with over 15 participants from both countries in each session. The organizers are very much confident that the event will serve as a common platform for young entrepreneurs from both countries to discuss, develop new concepts and explore business opportunities in the future. However, India still remains Nepal's biggest trade partner, donor and the supplier of the bulk of consumer goods. And such types of summits help to strengthen bonds and help bring people together.